Hey guys, it's me again. Um, I'm going to be doing another review on this guy, the Bandai Creation Mecha Godzilla, the first ever made. On um, not the first toy version ever made. I meant like my first um Mecha Godzilla and the first Mecha Godzilla from the movies. See, it's not MG2. Sorry if you can't really see it. I also have uh, this light because I was thinking of making a movie scene. Like a city. So, um, yeah. The detail on this guy is nice. Um, just something that kind of d d didn't make sense is look closely into the neck. Right there. Right, right there. It looks like the suit. As in the Japanese version, it, it doesn't have like dents of the suit, but I think the dents look kind of cool, cause it would look like um Godzilla jabbing his hand into his neck like that. I think he did that in the movie. I'm not sure, but um yeah. So um, what's the articulation? The arms both move 360. And if you saw in my, uh, Son of Godzilla, he had, like, tape around his arm. It's because, um, my dogs, they were puppies then. They chewed his arm because they thought it was, like, a play toy. Yeah, so both arms go 360. Right and left. The head moves 360. I mean, obviously that would make sense because if they were going, if you're going to make, like, a stop motion, you need his head to spin 360 degrees. His legs also move 360 degrees. That's kind of hard showing it with one hand. I I still have not found my tripod, stuff like that. That's what I'm doing with one hand. And the waist moves 360. And I still can't to do it because one hand. Yeah, so, um, details great. I decided to now do like superpowers, and since I'm not really good with editing, I'm just going to say it. He does like a multicolored rays from his eyes. I, f I didn't see the movie, so I think this is like where he shoots bullets from his nose. Like, sneeze bullets! Uh, 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 tss, 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 tss. Um, he shoots like a normal yellow ray, like, um, like all the other Mechagodzillas, except for the second Mechagodzilla. His... Toes shoot rocket, his shoot rockets, his hand shoot rockets, but you can't actually take them off. You would have to like animate it. Uh, this part shoots like a little mini laser. That's something that I've also noticed. Um, each Mecha Godzilla has a mini laser right here. The second Mecha Godzilla had it. The second version of this guy had it, where it says MG2. And Kiru, which I do have with me, because now, since I'm going to bring him in, I might as well do a double. See? Chest cannon. Chest cannon. Chest cannon. Uh, Kiru has the same thing, abilities. Um, articulation is the exact same as his. His head does move, his waist doesn't, and his legs don't. But this guy, the tail moves. This guy... The tail doesn't move. Yeah, so well, let's go on to this guy. Detail on this is great. I just didn't understand why this. See, look. The wires, it looks like wires, aren't painted in black. And I think they kind of brushed it with this because, um. Here, look at his arm. You could also see the wires on that arm, they aren't painted. And the wires on this arm are. Okay, that didn't make sense. Detail on this guy is great. I love it. Th this is why I loved Kiru in the Godzilla Tokyo SOS and the Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla. So, um, besides these two, I think it would look pretty cool. Um, I was thinking that when I make a movie, like he could transform into this. Like it would zoom into like each of his body, each of their body parts, arm, then that arm, chest, then that chest. 
head, then that head. That's what I was thinking I could do for a video. If you guys would say that's a good idea, leave it in the comments. If you don't like me to, then I might not want to. I might do it. So, scaling with these two are good. Um, let's bring out 1968. Uh, I think this is a good sizing. Let's go to the normal Mechagodzilla. I think it's good. If this was the 1974 Godzilla, that would have been really good. I think that. Um, this wasn't from both their movies, but since it was kind of from a Mechagodzilla movie, I'm going to bring him in. The Showa Baby Godzilla, uh, I think it would be good. It's just... um. Remember, this is an accurate size. I just kind of made it like he's in that little, like, like little Godzilla size. If you're wondering, I do not like little Godzilla. I like baby Godzilla more. And it looks like a raptor. That's what I made this guy out of. So that, um, I got a package today. Uh, well, I, not today, um, a few weeks ago that I did not show you guys. But these are, um, Two guys that I will not review, so I might as well just show them. This guy. I have no idea who this guy even is, but he's like one of the guys in the series. You'll see him in like the first episode. And everyone knows Lobster. I think his name is Herbereth, something like that. Herbereth was supposed to be bigger, but it's good size if you if you do like a battle with that. Godzilla over a baby Godzilla versus Herbereth fight. Um, overall, these two are really good guys. Um, just one thing that I never understood. Why Toho? Why, however you pronounce it, why do you keep adding chest cannons to all Mechagodzilla characters? Literally all. There's the first Mechagodzilla, that one. They added to the remake of this, that guy. The, um, second version of this guy, just they added the two. Then they did the Tomeka Godzilla 2, the Heisei. Then they do it to Kiru. What the heck? Why? Just why? Kiru's overpowered because he has chest can He has cannons all over his body. If you um have the uh, big 8-inch one. Plus he has a sword hand. A sword hand. What? Why? Why would you have to give him the chest? The chest kin that freezes. Oh yeah, that's one of his superpowers I forgot to mention. He shoots. I think he shoots lasers out of his eyes. And he does shoot like a laser. Yellow laser like him. These two are basically alike. They're brothers. They are brothers. But still, why? Just why? You got to make it to the two, the Heisei version. But instead of putting it at his chest, you put it at his belly button. Why? Couldn't you just leave it blank? Like, instead of having to add a chest cannon belly button laser, you could have just left it blank like this guy and this guy. Could have, at least. If you're wondering, I'll try to get that make a Godzilla too, as well. So. Overall, I rate this guy a 6 out of 10 if you're going to make stop motions. I would recommend the, uh, uh, I can't remember it. It was like a, um, it was the, uh, multi-moving one. The one where you could take off the head, take off the hand, and put, like, an unloaded hand and open, like, that thing. The multi one. And, uh, this guy is good. I like him a lot. Just one thing. Why? Why? The chest cannon. Just, just why? If you're looking for a figure, go for... If you're looking for a more movable Kira figure, get the show arts one, and there was that um, other one. The, um... I can't remember. It was the same guy, like, movable parts like this. You could take off the arm, and it had, like, missiles on the other arm. 
hand thing. And the cannon you could take on and off. And you could open that. So overall, it's a really good guy. And that is all. Yeah, son! Godzilla rules! Bye!